Hi, Tiffany. Thank you so much for coming on here and talking with me today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> so I know that right now is a crazy time of disconnection and isolation. And I was wondering how you are coping with all of that right now. Honestly, it's my life groups. I have been leaning on the different life groups that I'm involved in so much. I was asked last season or when the season first started to be a life group leader. And there were a lot of things that, you know, people were saying, if it's not the right season, it's okay. You're always allowed to say no, like don't bog yourself down. And uh, at the time I was working second shift and I wasn't a hundred percent sure if I would be able to lead a life group. And especially since most life groups were at like six or seven o'clock at night, I was working during that time. So, I put out to the women's group that I was going to do a life group at noon and I needed somebody to lead with me and Maggie volunteered right away and I was like, okay, maybe this is actually going to happen. And um, before I knew it, we had four members in our group and we were meeting at Starbucks every week. And I mean, honestly, I didn't even know Maggie at the time. So it was pretty interesting uh, to just start a life group with three women that I had really not ever talked to before. Uh, and since then, uh, Christy has started her own life group with Barbara, and we're all just really growing in our faith through our life groups, and it's been really amazing to see everybody grow through this season. Yeah, that's so awesome. So for you personally, how have life groups been that connection point? How are they so important, and why are they? I mean, honestly, it's, it's the fact that being in the military, I am surrounded by neg negativity and um, very few Christ followers, at least uh, where I work. I'm sure there are plenty in the military, but, um, you know, my husband was out to sea for a long time. It was supposed to be a couple of weeks, ended up being almost two months. And, you know, just every time he was supposed to come home a couple of days prior, I'd get that, you know, hey, sorry, I'm not going to be home message. And it was really difficult to go through that because I just wanted him to be home, uh, knowing that he has a deployment coming up at the end of this year. And so I was able to really um, lean in on my life group and depend on them to keep me on the right track because it would have been easy for me to fall back into old habits and feel sorry for myself. And when I started to get that way, I would reach out to someone from my life group or I would you know share how I was feeling in my life group and you know they would validate my feelings but not validate you know the poor decisions I was making and so um, they really helped me to stay grounded in my faith and not allow you know outside things to to bring me down and push me off the path that I've been on and you know it also gave me an opportunity to you know not be idle and grow and because of that, I'm able to, um, you know, kind of dial back a little bit when my husband is home and focus on my first ministry, which is my family. And so, um, you know, being able to have that was, you know, really critical uh, during that time. Yeah, I love that. I know right now it's super easy to just fade into the background and kind of disappear out of comfort. Um, but the fact that you're being super intentional with connecting with people and you're being super intentional about growing your relationship with God is so, so important because you're going to come out of this season so much stronger and so much better and, you know, able to serve people in a bigger and better way than you were before quarantine. And so the fact that you are being intentional about your growth is it's like incredible because it's so easy to fall back and to just be OK with not growing so honestly like good on you i think that's awesome um so what is one thing that god is showing you during this season i think the biggest thing that god is showing me is that um you know that time that bobby was underway i was able to really um, dial in and get myself set into a very steady habit of meeting with god and um you know, focusing in on him every day before work and before I went to bed. And so in doing that uh, and, you know, setting up that habit, I've been able to be more positive at work and I've been able to be the light at work that 
they really need me to be during the season. Uh, my students have been locked down on base for about 45 days and mental health conditions are popping up left and right. And there wasn't really a lot of focus on it. And so God's really been using me to forge a path in that way and bring attention to it, as well as to be a person that they can come to and feel comfortable talking to because I do have grace and I do have um, you know, the love of God flowing inside of me. And so I'm able to really be an outlet for them. And I think that really what God has shown me is that, you know, I am the Bible that they're reading right now. I am what they have uh, because they can't, you know, leave base. And I take every opportunity to remind them to like find an online service. And, you know, I'm not afraid to share my faith with them. And it hasn't got me in trouble so far. So I'm going to keep doing it. Um, but I think he's really just shown me to keep pushing forward and be the light. Yes, I so love that, especially right now. It's so it's just so easy to fall into darkness. And so the fact that you are taking taking that extra initiative and showing up, that's like that's literally what it's all about. You are the hands and feet of Christ right now and you are doing it in your everyday life. So like you're you're showing that and that's really, really awesome. But that's all I had for you today. I'm so grateful that you were able to come on here and chat with me today. Um, But until next time, I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later, Montana. Bye.